Which car will General Motors pick to replace the Camaro in NASCAR? We all know that the Chevy Camaro is being discontinued as a production model, meaning that it can't race in NASCAR much longer. Well, it can, but from a marketing standpoint for Chevy as the OEM, it doesn't make much sense to continue racing a car that people can't go out and buy. Went on Sunday, sell on Monday, right? That was the old moniker. Not sure it still applies that much, but Chevy slash General Motors does have a dilemma on their hands here because they need to find a replacement for the Camaro, except for the fact that Chevrolet, as a brand, doesn't really make sedans or sports cars anymore. They currently only have two available for purchase, which is not ideal for them. And they're not in a situation where they can do what they did with the Chevy SS when they discontinued the Impala and they were like, oh, we need to have a car here. What are we gonna replace it with? Oh, we'll just take the Holden Commodore from Australia rebranded as the Chevy SS in America, sell a few thousand of them to make good on the whole production model portion of that NASCAR rule, and then call it a day. They can't do that anymore because Holden doesn't exist, and GM down in Australia is not even selling Camaros, even though they race them in Australian supercars. Very confusing, uh, if you ask me. So when it comes down to it, Chevy currently only has a few options uh, on hand here, and we'll get into those in just a second. The current Camaro, though, has 78 wins to its record in NASCAR, including two championships as well with Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson. The Camaro has been pretty productive in terms of a nameplate, uh, at least in the NASCAR ranks. The Chevy SS only has 73 wins. Of course, the Monte Carlo and the Lumina have more because, well, they were around longer. But for the Camaro, it's been a formidable car, and now it's being sunset by General Motors because of its sales completely tanking. Not even the Garage 56 screaming across France just bleeding with freedom wasn't enough to save the Camaro. It had already been met its met its uh, ultimate demise before that program happened, which remains the best story in motorsports in 2023, if you ask me. So what could possibly replace the Camaro going forward? And we know currently NASCAR teams and Xfinity and Cup will be running the Camaro in 2024, likely in 2025. So we're really looking at 2026 right now, barring something drastic happening, which it could, it could happen. Uh, Chevy could already be working on this. Who knows? So there's four options that make a lot of sense. Two of them within the Chevy brand, one within the General Motors brand, and then well, it's kind of a toss up on the next one. So our first option up right now is the Chevy Malibu. It's the only sedan that Chevrolet currently still offers uh, for sale as a production car. And listen, if you're a divorced dad or you love rental cars, you're absolutely ecstatic with the possibility of the Malibu coming uh, to NASCAR. But at the end of the day, they don't make an SS version of it. There's not a high performance version. It's front wheel drive, which granted the Camry is as well. Nothing about it though screams NASCAR, <laughs> like race car. It's not great as a marketing platform either. Obviously OEMs use NASCAR as a marketing platform. Who are they gonna market the Malibu to? It's a fleet vehicle, right? Unless you're Hertz or Enterprise or Alamo, nobody really cares about the Chevy Malibu. Nobody's rushing out to the showroom to buy one and it would have to compete against the Camry in terms of that four door family sedan and the Camry absolutely eats its lunch. In 2022, Toyota sold nearly 300,000 Camrys. To compare that to the Malibu, it sold 115,000. So you're looking at double plus some more that the Camry sold. There's no way Chevy wants to try to market the Malibu against the Camry. The Camry is the gold standard of affordable family four-door sedans in the world, essentially. So they're not going to want to market against that right there. And at the end of the day, the Malibu is not good looking. It's not marketable. There's nothing about the Malibu that says, this is a race car. This is what we want to build a whole marketing campaign around. So go ahead and scrap the Malibu. It's not happening. Forget about it. Apologies if you're a big Malibu fan. If you have one, I'm sorry I called you a divorced dad or a rental car enthusiast. It's just not, not the car that we're going to have. The other option that Chevy currently has, because they only currently make two, two cars, two sedans, two sports cars, two cars in the general sense, that would be the Chevy Corvette. Which, again, you're thinking that would look absolutely ridiculous, especially because it's now a mid-engine sports car. And you would be right. It would look really ridiculous. And somebody did mock up what it could possibly look like. And while it doesn't really look that bad, it looks nothing like a Corvette. Which, again, the Supra in the Xfinity series looks nothing like the production Supra. 
And from a marketing standpoint, it does make a little bit of sense when you think about it because currently 75 to 80% of NASCAR's viewing audience each Sunday is over the age of 50, which happens to line up really well with the age demographic that buys Corvettes, people over 50 years old. So they could market it to them it doesn't go up against the Mustang. It doesn't compete against the Camry. It's its own marketing avenue because it's a sports car and it's not the Mustang. Typically, you don't see Corvettes crashing, leaving car meets and wiping out uh, a sidewalk of people. And then on the Camry side, you can only fit two people into a Corvette. So I'm not going to compete against the sedan there. So it is an option. Granted, it's not front or it's not front engine. It's not boxy like a current NASCAR Cup Series car is. It is a sports car and nothing about it screams stock car, but I guess weirder things have happened, right? Like we currently have Camrys that look like two-door sports cars. Why not? I mean, the whole idea of a stock car has long been gone since none of these cars actually look like their production models. Granted, the nose of the of the Camaro, the front end of the Mustang, they do look pretty reminiscent of their uh, production uh, car counterparts, but the Camry obviously does not. The nose looks fine. Uh, for the most part, you could maybe decide on the Corvette. I don't think they would want to do that. However, Chevy has kicked around the idea of making the Corvette its own sub-brand with a rumored Corvette EV crossover SUV coming at some point, as well as, well as a sedan, a four-door Corvette. Don't love that. Kind of hate Ford for making this whole sub-brand thing uh, happen back when they introduced the Mustang Mach-E. But here we are. It is a possibility. I kind of said it's possibilities at less than 20%. It just doesn't make much sense, again, for that to happen. Option number three would be for General Motors to come in and say we're going to take Chevrolet out of NASCAR and we're going to put Cadillac in because Cadillac currently makes the CT4 Blackwing and the CT5 Blackwing. High performance sedans, which they could market just like that. High performance sedans. You see it on the track, you can go buy a car that has 500 horsepower for the CT4 Blackwing or nearly 700 horsepower in the CT5 Blackwing. It doesn't compete against the Mustang because it's a performance sedan. It doesn't compete against the Camry because it's a performance sedan. Having said all of that, you're also looking at taking Chevrolet out of NASCAR. Chevy has a ton of brand equity in NASCAR, right? When General Motors had three different brands running in NASCAR, Oldsmobile and Pontiac and Chevrolet, which one survived? Chevrolet. Which one has won all the championships in recent memory since 2002? Chevrolet. It just doesn't make sense to take it out, but at the same time, it does make a lot of sense because Cadillac has become the motorsports brand within the General Motors portfolio, right? They fund both an IMSA program, multiple IMSA programs, and a WEC program with their GTP hypercar, uh, per LMDH, whatever version of it you wanna call it, uh, on both the domestic side and the international side. And now they've also committed to becoming a power unit supplier for Andretti Cadillac in 2028. So they have IMSA, WEC, and Formula One in their portfolio right now. Why not add NASCAR to that? And I know, right, NASCAR, good old boys, rednecks, doesn't really fit the Cadillac portfolio, but NASCAR has been trying to change their whole image around, right? Trying to make it seem, NASCAR is very technical and unfortunately gets a bad rap. And that's really unfortunate because there's a lot of really smart people and a lot of really good engineering minds in NASCAR, and they don't get the credit that they deserve because everybody looks at NASCAR as being these group of idiots that are just putting stock cars out on the racetrack and not the fact that their shops rival that of basically any other big time motorsport series in the world. So they could do that. It makes a lot of sense. They've already got both of those cars ready to go. They look fantastic. They would fit really well into the NASCAR mold. You can run the CT4 in Xfinity, the CT5 in Cup, have really good brand activation there. And I would just like to see a car that I own be on a NASCAR track. So that's a little selfish of me. Option number four though, is that mystery option. We keep hearing from Chevrolet that there will be a Camaro replacement. And it sounds like it's going to be an EV performance car built on the GM uh, Altium platform, their EV battery platform. If it does happen, that's great. Unfortunately, it doesn't really make much sense to put it in a NASCAR because you can't market it very well because if you can only buy the EV version 
for the road going car in your production model, but you have a V8 <laughs> naturally aspirated V8 on the cup side that doesn't really do much for marketing. And granted, you can be like, oh, the Camry, you can't buy a V8 version of the Camry. You're absolutely right, but you can still buy an internal combustion engine version of the Camry in the production model. If you can't buy an ICE in a production model, then what's the point of having it be in NASCAR? It's the same thing that we run into right now with Dodge and the whole Challenger EV thing, although it sounds like that might actually be getting an internal combustion twin turbo V6. We'll see what happens. Uh, it just, the, the marketing aspect of it doesn't work. And again, all these OEMs are using NASCAR as a marketing platform for their models, right? So to have a car race on the track that you can't buy something similar to that in the showroom doesn't make a ton of sense. And then of course, we've talked about it, it sounds like there's going to be like a Camaro offshoot as well as a sub-brand. Unless there's an internal combustion engine version of it, it just doesn't make much sense. Could, they've also discontinued that entire platform that the Camaro is built on. So that's scrap, there's not, you can't build it again. Could they build something on the platform that the CT4 and CT5 are built on? They absolutely could. The short time frame, frame tells me that they won't unless they take basically the CT4 or CT5 and then just change the bodywork on it and call it a Chevrolet, whatever. Bring back the SS, call it the Mal uh, Impala. I don't care what you call it. Um, they could do that. It doesn't seem likely because, well, that would be really expensive and they would have to get the tooling ready at the production facility. Having said that though, they could possibly do that a year in advance of the production model being available because what we're going to see in 2024 is the new Camry 2025 race in the Cup Series, but you won't be able to buy it until likely the second half of 2024. So there is the opportunity for them to do that. But whatever they're going to do, Chevrolet, GM, they have to figure it out soon because the homologation of the Camaro is in its final spot. They can no longer make any changes to it because there's not a production version of that out there. They might be able to make a small tweak here or there, but they can't do a complete redesign like we just saw with the Mustang and like we're about to see with the Camry whenever Toyota wants to unveil that, be fantastic. But for now, that's what it is. So let me know in the comments, which model do you think they're going to race? Don't tell me that they're going to bring the Chevelle back because they're absolutely not. And they're not bringing back the Nova either but let me know what production model you think they're going to race like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard instagram and twitter at break hard blog